My name is Madison and I'm going to teach you how to use Miro. In the next few minutes, we'll review what you'll need to be an effective participant in your upcoming event. By the end of this video, you will know what Miro is, how to move around the space, and how to add thoughts and ideas. So let's answer the biggest question first. What is Miro? Simply put, Miro is a collaboration platform that allows you to work with others online. Working in Miro helps people express ideas, solve problems, and provide insightful feedback. Okay, let me introduce you to a Miro board. Everything in Miro happens on boards. Boards start off empty, and then objects like stickies, shapes, and lines get added to build something unique and exciting, like this workshop. Think of boards like rooms, where you enter in and work with others. What's cool about Miro is that the board is infinite. You can push and pull yourself in any direction without ever finding the edges. So let's talk about how you'll navigate this space. When using your mouse, hold down the right button and click and pull across the board. See how I can click and pull myself to a new area? Zoom in and out by scrolling on the mouse wheel. If you want to use your trackpad, drag two fingers across the trackpad to move around the board. To zoom, pinch like you would on a smartphone or tablet. Miro will automatically know if you're using a mouse or trackpad, but you can switch between these two modes in the navigation settings under Preferences. If you're moving around and happen to find yourself on a part of the board you didn't intend, there are a few easy and quick ways to reorient yourself. Press Command or Control-1 to center the content on the board, or click the host avatar on the top of the screen to join back in on collaborating. Okay, moving right along. Add thoughts and ideas to a board using sticky notes and comments. Create a sticky note by clicking the sticky icon. Then, click anywhere on the board to place it and immediately start typing. Add comments by clicking the comments icon and dropping it on the board. Once you're done typing, press enter to leave the comment. Click and drag any of these objects to move them around the board. In Miro, there are fun, visual ways to show us on your mind. Click on the reactions icon and choose one of the reactions that matches how you're feeling, and then watch it appear at the bottom of the screen. Or you can add stickies and emojis. Click on the icon and then choose which one you want to drag on the board. So the next time you want to share how you feel or what you think, add a sticker or reaction to visually show your opinion. You are now ready for your first Miro experience. Happy collaborating.